everybody, Liana here from Twirl, a play and discovery space in Taos, New Mexico. And we are playing and discovering this week with Cinco de Mayo. And when I think of Cinco de Mayo, I think of music. So, project this week is maracas. Cinco de Mayo, by the way, is not Mexican Independence Day. Just want to let you know. It's actually the celebration of a battle that they won um, against the French. So, it is still a very festive holiday and we definitely want to make music and lots of noise. So, this is my favorite maraca. Actually, my favorite one I made is the butterfly. So, I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different ways to make them and then I'll show you how to make them and I'm going to encourage you at home to find whatever materials you can to make maracas. So, this one was a water bottle and I filled it with beads and the red tube was a um, paper towel dispenser, just the cardboard, right? This one, let me show you what it looked like before it got decorated, piece of cardboard and the cardboard wanted to bend this way. See that? And so I just put a couple of caps and then I decorated it to look like a butterfly. And then toilet paper roll. I think I filled this one with popcorn. And I put over the ends of this one plastic that I cut from a toilet, uh, from toilet paper, from a tortilla wrapper. So I just cut off the plastic and I sealed around it either with a rubber band or masking tape. An old tin uh, can I had that had spices in it decorated it with some ribbon. They were like leftover pieces of ribbon. See how we can make lots of music. Uh, you can put buttons, you can put rocks. One of mine has nuts and bolts and little nails in it. So I had like a whole bunch of loose ones. I'm not sure which one that was though. But Easter egg, a couple of spoons, decorate it. These look more like the tradi traditional mar maracas, right? Egg carton, a little bit of duct tape around it to seal it. I think there were buttons in this one. Oatmeal from the morning. There's my metal. This one was filled. Here, let me show you. And I just put a piece of plastic, again, that just came from the tortilla wrapper that I cut up. And I just put um, a rubber band around that one, but I probably would seal that one up with uh, masking tape. So, those are all the different ways you could do it. This one I sealed with balloons on the end. And they all make different sounds. You could fill an Altoid container if you had one. Whatever you have around your house, you can probably seal it up, put something in it, shake it and make some noise and celebrate Cinco de Mayo. So let's get started. The materials that I gathered up, most importantly, you'll need to gather some things to fill and then you'll need to have some things to fill it with. Anything that could make noise, popcorn, rocks, pennies, beads, and then you'll need to seal it up with some kind of tape, plastic, rubber band, and then comes the fun part, the decorating. So grab paints, markers, construction paper, glue, anything festive to decorate your maracas once you fill them and seal them. So this first one I'm making is the clacker. You'll need a strip of cardboard and two bottle caps. Lots of glue on the ends to hold the bottle caps down and then set it aside to dry before you decorate it. The next one is with the toilet paper tube. S seal up one end with the plastic, fill it with something to make noise, and then seal up the other end. You can tape it down or put a rubber band around it. Either way will hold the um, objects inside to make noise. Then comes the decorating part. I decided to use construction paper and I have a thing for polka dots. So I went ahead and decorated the construction paper. Lots of polka dots. Put a lot of glue on it and then rolled it up and set it off to the side to dry with the clacker. The next one I made were with leftover plastic eggs from Easter. Filled it up with some popcorn, went and found two plastic spoons, put them together and held them in place with some tape. After they were taped securely together, you decorate it. And now you've got two traditional looking maracas. So here I'm making that big maraca that I showed you earlier. 
Do you notice the long cardboard tube there with the slits cut up it? Those slits are really important because they're going to fit over the top of the water bottle to create that handle. So cut up a few slits and slide that over the top of the water bottle and you're going to fasten that down to make your handle. But don't forget, first you got to fill your water bottle with something that makes noise and put the cap back on. Then lots of tape around that cardboard to hold it down and really secure it to the water bottle so that you have a great shaker with a handle. After you get it nice and secure, you can start the decorating process. I decided to use duct tape for the handle bit. And I like the duct tape because it also gave more security to support that handle onto the water bottle. Once I'd gotten the handle all decorated and secure, I decided to keep going with the duct tape. That also reinforced that connection between the cardboard tube and the water bottle. So as I was paint, er, taping up the water bottle with lots and lots of pretty duct tape, I suddenly realized the water bottle is filled with pretty beads and I wanted them to show. So what I did is I stopped using the duct tape at the end so that you can see the beads shining through with this particular maraca. I of course put some more things on it, but I stopped with the duct tape. Pom-poms and pipe cleaners, anything you want. Another way you could decorate these is with paper mache. Then you'd be able to paint them and turn them into whatever you wanted. Glue and pom-poms are always fun. The next one was just the oatmeal container from the morning. I filled it with those metal things, sealed it with a piece of plastic, put a rubber band around that, and there you go. The last one was also a tube from paper towel. Filled it with buttons, cut the ends off of two balloons, and then used the balloons to seal up the paper towel roll. Hey, so I hope I've given you some great ideas about how to make different musical shakers. Some can look like more traditional maracas. And don't forget this one. And again, this was just a paper towel tube. And the important piece of this is that when you're building it, make sure you cut up little slits on the tube roll and slot that down over and tape it down. So I just cut on a paper towel tube or toilet paper, depending on what size bottle you're working with, slits up a little ways. And that way, this can just slide down on top of the water bottle, right? And that's how you can make your handle. And the last one I wanna show you is with the egg carton. So this one, you're just gonna cut best you can. <laughs> And of course, always ask for help from a big person if the cutting is tricky. You're just gonna cut so that you get left with two little spots for eggs. But you can fold that in half and close it up and make it a shaker. I'm gonna actually separate these. But before I close it up, I'm gonna fill it. And I'm gonna use the metal objects again. Again, these are little nails, some screws, some bolts, just little stuff I found in the bottom of my drawer. And I figure they'll make a lot of noise when they rattle around together. I'm gonna to put those back on top of each other like that. And I'm gonna get some masking tape. And I think this would be a really fun one to paper mache if you wanted to really spend some time on this project. And then you could paint it however you wanted. <clears throat> so this doesn't look like a traditional maraca right now because it doesn't have a handle, but it is a super fun musical instrument. And you could decorate that. I think it could be a bee. What do you think? You could put little wings on it, some antenna with pipe cleaners, Paint it yellow and black stripes. I think that would make a super cute little bee. Anyway, happy Cinco de Mayo. Have fun with your maracas. Make lots of music. And don't forget, you have all sorts of materials and stuff around your house that you can play with. See you next time.